Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to uh, be making some more animations. I think this is like the last episode we're in Blender and hopefully next episode we're going to be in Unity importing some stuff. But today we're going to make the swap animations for the FPS arms. So let me just first explain, first explain how this is gonna work. We have the three types of animations. We have the primary, secondary and the melee. And we're going to create two animations for each type. So we're going to have the down and the up animation for each type. Let me demonstrate this. So we're going to take the idle animation that we made before. And then we're going to take the bones and uh, make the animation. So the arms go down. So whenever we press the button to swap the weapon, we're going to press, um, I don't know, two for secondary. And then we'll move this down, check which weapon we need, swap the weapon. And then we're going to come back uh, with the different animation. So if we have a primary weapon here, we're going to move it down. And we want to change the secondary. We're going to um, instantiate a pistol here and swap to another animation or the secondary animation and come back up. It's very easy to make and does not work the best in every case, but it's very simple and easy to explain. I'll start with this. Uh, primary animation so just open up the idle animation and clean it up so you only have the first and the last frame and then I'm just going to re rename it down primary and for the last frame I'm just going to set the arms like this something like this fine press I and now you have a very simple animation if you change the end down here to 16 or whichever frame you have uh, for your last frame then you can just play it and it's very quick. That's that's what we need. So I'll just go file save as FPS arms down primary. And I'm also going to export. That's very important. Export FBX down primary. Click selected objects and apply the scale. Export. Now we also need to create the other side of the animation, the up animation. So we're just going to take the last frame, move it to frame 16, and uh, move the last frame to frame one. So it's basically in reverse, so it's just this. And I'm going to rename it up primary. I know the names are a bit weird, that's because I'm not creative with them. So I'm just going to file save as up primary, and then of course file export FPX up primary. And this should be already checked. Okay, that's it for the primary animations. We'll just move on to the secondary ones so open the idle secondary and uh, of course clean it up move this to frame 16 um, set the end to be 16 and uh, rename this to down secondary so we're going to take this root bone that we all have on every animation move it down like this press I or actually first move to the last frame sorry uh, move and press I and we have animation Good, file save as, this will be down secondary, and of course file export FBX, down secondary, click selected objects and apply the scale, export, and same as before, take this frame, move it, take this frame, so the animation is um, reversed, like that, and rename up secondary, file save as, And export and now we'll move on to the last part the melee animations open the idle animation here clean it up make the last frame 16 or whatever you want I just like 16 as a number and I'll rename it to down melee I don't know why it's knife here that's old I guess move it down, press I, or sorry again, go to the last frame, press I, file save as, FPS arms, down melee, export, click selected objects and apply the scale, and now just reverse the animation, 
and rename it down here up melee nice first save up melee and export so I know this is very simple and easy but this was uh, a crucial part without this it would just look stupid and hopefully you know this helps you and next episode hopefully we'll import all our stuff into unity well not all but some of them if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like a comment down below any ideas anything you want help subscribe of course that always helps and uh, you can go follow me on my social media or my patreon if you're that kind and hopefully i'll see you next time bye bye